This video is not made for children under the age of 18. If you're not 18, well, let's face it, age restricted. But parents, do not let your children watch this channel. Snatch their phone away and make sure to let them read a book. Please, enjoy the video. Also, PBS, um, it will have strong language. So, don't let, don't let your kids watch this. Thank you. And enjoy this video. Hey guys, what's up? Today, <clears throat> today I'm gonna show you how to custom paint. And yes, I know it's been a long time to do it, and I do wanted to apologize for it for not making more of these how to custom paint videos. The reason why I stopped doing that because I. Because of my laziness, I, yeah, because of my laziness, and that pretty much just it. So today, figure, I want to show you how to custom paint is this. Today, I'm going to show you how to custom paint the Transformers 3D Series Robuster. Yes. Now, before I'm going to continue this, if you guys seen the last how to custom paint video, which is the... I don't remember which one. I think it's was six gun. Go right ahead. Go to the information. Information someone on the top right to check it out. And also, if you want to see the original review on Studio Series Rose Robuster, go right ahead and check it out. So yes. Um, so here it is. The figure, all customized and fully painted. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to custom paint Robuster. And it's very easy. Now, before I'm going to continue this, if you're new for this video, if you're new for this channel, channel, make sure to leave a like, comments, and subscribe for my main channel, which is this one you're on right now, and my gaming channel. Look at the description down below. And also, I have a full timestamp on the video on it, and the list of the stuff what you need. And that pretty much that's it. And uh, so, yeah. So let's begin. The custom paint and let me show well, let me show you first what stuff do you need first so let's begin so here's the stuff what you need for this so <clears throat> of course you need Rollbuster the figure itself and the little gun that he comes with now we're starting off with the the Apple Barrel brand so what you need is Apple Barrel brand Mountain Forest because you need to replace the the original green that he have on the figure to give it more like you know movie show accurate or I think that will be you know movie show accurate but yeah Mountain Force um, multi-surface next you need um, Apple Barrel Gloss Black of course Apple Barrel Gloss Real Blue Apple Barrel Multi Surface White, uh, Apple Barrel Gloss uh, Real Yellow. So that's for the Apple Barrel brand you need, and for the damn it, the Fork Art you need Ster Sterling Silver. You need Gunmetal Gray. metallic gold and for the brand of deco art you need the multi-surface lipstick color and lastly but not least the bronze color so most of the you know, most of the paint you can find it at the local walmart but some of the paint like deco art will be always fine at the at the um art store so if you guys are looking enough to find all of them, make sure to find this. Or if you could try to find Robuster figure, if you guys already have one, good. But if you haven't, well, I don't know, it still has some on the stores or on the internet. But good luck finding it. Alright, now let's start off with the vehicle mode first. And I guess we're going to start it by the rest of the parts of the robot mode. So let's begin the tutorial alright for the vehicle mode we have to remove the little gun first so the gun I forgot to paint it in gunmetal gray so the only thing to do to start with is remove the gun make sure you have something you know to hold it and 
just painted with gunmetal gray with the gun. There's a little weapon right here. And after we've been draw, done drying, paint the little tips right here that you can see. Some of it are painted, but some of it, you know, got scraped up by accident. On the little tip on the holes, and paint it with sterling silver so you got the gun finished. So after that's finished, now for the main vehicle mode, for the tires first, we for the tire rims, you just need to put in gunmetal gray on all four tire rims right here that you can see. All four of them, one here, one here, and the other two on the other side. Make sure to get everything. Do not get the outside of the tires, of course. Now, we can start off with the front of the vehicle mode. And the first thing to do, is, which I recommend to first, is to to like det det detach the figure, the vehicle mode first, before starting, you know, the, the painting. This is what the original paint looks like on the figure. I don't know, you can see it. But this is the original paint, what it looks like, the little brighter green color. So I replaced that with this color right here. But for the first thing first you need to do is remove the whole thing first. And just bend, you know, the, the robust legs. Which I uh, forgot to paint the other side of the little spring. So yeah, but first, the vehicle mode first. First thing first, lift this whole piece up. Next is to... The first thing to, to do is grab the mountain force and paint the the green area part first on the whole thing on the bumper of the vehicle mode all the way around to here and make sure to you know don't forget to un to split this up to get this side here and this side here cover it up the, the next thing to do is come by the little thing right here the little I don't know what this is. I know this is a spring, but dealing with this first, painting it in, of course, in this color on both sides. So you can get it perfectly. After that's finished, next thing to do is get the real yellow for the spring of the vehicle mode. For the front part first, then you could do this one. But you have to, like, you know, disassemble the figure first. And you have to paint the spring like this on both sides so you can get it right after done in the bottom part of the front of the vehicle we'll come by to the upper part next and carefully and much better use a toothpick for it because because if you have like a like a thicker paintbrush it will ruin everything so if you have a toothpick or a smart or a smaller paintbrush um paint the green area that you see right here all this part right here finishing up in this area of part and you do the same thing on the other side after that's finished paint the this area right here in white what you need in white and this area here and here after that is finished um make sure to come by in this part of the area right here of the vehicle mode which is this piece right here and the, the first thing to do is paint this part right here and make sure to have it like that had had the end right here on the white right here like that after that is finished go with the mountain force green paint the green area part also right here and make sure you paint paint the like like this side right here like i did i kind of messed up on the other side right here by accident so do the same thing like this one on the other side right here after done Grab some gloss black and paint it like that on the little lines on the little lines right here. Don't do that like I did right here by accident, which is currently my fault. So don't do the, the mistake I did. And for the tires, there's no way to remove the tire rims because this right here is like a flimsy plastic. So carefully, carefully grab some glossy, grab some gloss real yellow and paint the other springs right there of the vehicle mode. It's much easier if you have like down like that. Or have the figure in robot mode so you can do it clearly like that on the springs even on this side right here and you can do the same thing on the other side after that's finished got some white right here to cover this piece up right here like that like I said and you do the same thing on the other side right here that you see and that's part and that's the front part finish of the vehicle mode next is the middle part of the vehicle mode 
wish I can put this thing together and to do that you need to like um, like detach everything right here like it like literally detach everything all the tabs and pegs so you can get more space for it of the figure And like for real though, you need to like move everything out of the way. Or if you want to pop off the ball joints off, uh, do that also. Just pop off the ball joints so you can have clear space for it. Because the next part is the bottom part right here. I can show you the rest of it in the front later. I know you can't clearly see everything, but let's um, let's remove the arms of the robot. Okay, no, never mind. It won't let me, so I guess um, there's actually no way to deal with this crap. I guess, um, wait, I think I've solved the problem. There we go. Now you have to have it like this. Now, the whole thing right here, I haven't finished enough covering up the green part of Robuster because I did it too quickly, so don't do the same thing, same mistake I have. Now the the whole inside right here that you see, use gunmetal gray and make sure to paint everything on it to clear up to cover up all the green part. Um, after it's done drying, you can see he's still missing some green part. Make sure to still cover up everything more on it. So like literally complete complete everything, covered it up 100%. Don't do the same same mistake what I did by accident. So yeah, be reasonable. Just don't just don't do that. Don't do them same mistake like, like I did. I apologize for it. Now for the now for the 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 outer layer of the vehicle mode. First thing for to do is to see the green area that you saw. Use of course Mountain Force Green to cover up the, all the green area that I had painted on it. Make sure to do everything. Don't cover up the numbers. The number 88 right here do everything around it that you see right here on the vehicle mode make sure that you, you, you unpick this piece right here after that it's finished you come by to one side over here you could do the same thing on the other side but we can start with one side first oh forgot to mention one thing after you did that finish on you know painting everything you come by this piece right here on this area right here painted in gunmetal gray after then done drying paint this area right here in white you do the same thing on the other side and this part and also don't forget to paint the gunmetal gray part right here and one over here that you see now after that's finished come back to one side of the vehicle mode and this area right here look like you know pipes painted in silver first that after done drying see all the cable detailing right here like the cables that you see painted it and glossy black first the cables right here there's more cable, like right here that you see, more cables, then more cables down there, more down here, and down over there. Make sure do not paint the the white part and the numbers also. Just painted all the cables. Um, I think there's more cable right there, but the whole area right there is I painted a gunmetal gray. But wait after you finish painting out the cable part. After you're done with that. Grab the deco art bronze color, the, this one right here, and paint this area right here that you see. This area part right here. Now after that is finished, you see the little things right there. But before you do that, paint because I paint this area part right here and gunmetal gray to cover it up. This piece right here. After that's finished, you paint the whole piece parts right there and Mountain Forest Green right there that you can see that my dirty ass nails pointing at all this part right here and you go to the bottom you paint this part also to cover that up after you're done dealing with this side you copy the same method again on the other side so you get it nice and perfectly and after it's done for that part is finished you come back to the spoiler the part of the vehicle mode the back part of it and let me move move that around and this part right here that you can see um, use mountain force 
mountain forest color right here to paint this whole part of green right here make sure to get the lines over here also you can also, you also need to get the sum of it at the bottom of the vehicle mode which I don't know you can clearly see it but probably not because the all the cables of the roller mode and plus I'm scraping off the paint by accident and I don't like that much better if I can split it or remove the legs joints oh, there we go okay I can remove the, the legs yeah before you start you know painting everything you need to remove some of the limbs and or just remove the mushroom pegs on it which should have started off with dealing with the mushroom peg but whatever uh, at least I have the part of the vehicle, the robot mode, so I can show you off. So yeah. Now the whole green area right here, the, uh, the, I don't, like I said, I don't know if you can see it right. But here it is. Paint this part of the green area right here that you can see. Like that. Very carefully. As I want that done on one side, you can do the other same thing on the other side. Next, you can paint the spoiler right there that you can see. And, and black. Paint the spoiler, spoiler right here and the part area right here that you can see in black. After that is finished, um, you come by to the bottom part of the spoiler of the vehicle mode because this thing is on a hinge. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can bend it down all the way. Probably not. But if you have like enough space for it, you see the green area right here that you can barely see see it and paint the whole green area right here right here that you can barely see it and green and after that's finished come by to the back of the vehicle mode and paint the whole part right here black that you can see after that finished put a little bit of white down here white down here also that you can see uh, that you can see too after that's finished you leave it to, to dry and after it's done Come by to the part of the view to the robot. I mean, not the vehicle mode, and much better just unpack, unplug, unpack this because I'm a ball joint and paint like the whole green part area first. Do not cover this up. Do not cover this up. You had to do it later with white, but do not cover the NASCAR logo. Just do the whole area right here, and you do the inside of it also that you can see. After that's finished, you paint this part of the this part right here and gunmetal gray after that's drawn drying paint this area right here and white do not cover up the NASCAR logo after that finish you paint the missile pod in red right here make sure to get everything right here I kind of missed one by accident as you're done finish you do the same method on the other side like I did here after that you can pop off the tire if I can okay this now this one's already popped off bastard um you can pop off the wheel but this one doesn't want to oh yeah i forgot to mention one thing don't forget to paint this white part area right here the vehicle mode that you can see right here don't forget to paint that you do the same thing on the other side right here sorry for sorry to forgot to mention that about that next thing to do is like gonna pop off the wheel paint the inside of it right here and mountain forest green then you paint this area right here in white you paint the whole green area right here that you can see that you see right here after done finishing painting you paint this area right here the little this piece right here and gunmetal gray after that's finished you paint the white part right here and I don't know I don't know the original figure is painted in red or not but if it doesn't you paint this part in red so you could get a more movie show accurate after that's finished you do the same method on the other side and that pretty much I said let's put the figure back together. So let's get the figure together. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. I might have to pause the video for it. So yeah, I might have to pause the video for it to put it back together. So I'll be right back. Now you already finished up the vehicle mode. All fully painted. After you're done with that. You can see... You copy the same method like I did on mine. 
now we can get on with the robot mode the one part you all been waiting for so let's begin the tutorial on the robot mode all right now we're getting on on the robot mode so first thing to do in the robot mode we can start off with the head so to do that is remove the head and the first thing you need to do with the head is starting off by painting the whole head area in mountain forest green after you're done finishing that you go get some stone silver paint the little antenna on both sides that you can see right here one side here and the other side right here after that paint the back part right here in silver or gunmetal gray if you want to as you can see mine are painted in silver after that's finished um, make sure to paint the bottom part of the robot mode too of the head of the robot after you're done with the drawing come by to the head part the part of the robot mode which you need to get some deco or lipstick red and paint the little springs right there on the neck that you see in red after that finish but to do that you need to go back on there's a, have a screw on that that you have to remove it I'm not gonna do that on mine but we have but do you have like a screwdriver on it like a small screwdriver you remove the chest part area right here and to do that you need to paint the whole area part on the green part right here and mount forest green then don't forget this side right here the, like I forgot on mine so paint that part also in, in green make sure to paint the part of the chest area right here that you can see in gunmetal gray and after done finishing that finishing off with some mountain forest green as we've been done drying and waiting for the drying part of uh, next is to paint the little piece right here and gold and after that you have to paint the little this part like you know the little pipes right here that you see right here all the way to end over here and silver after that you paint this part right here and gold after part that part is finished um i forgot to paint mine and gunmetal gray the chest area right here the whole the chest area so if you're done so paint that as you're done we've been drying this up after done finishing that you see these right here the cables right here the red and the gold paint that and do the same thing on the other side of mine my side over here is kind of scraped off by accident after that's finished with the body make sure don't forget to paint a little bit of, a little bit of hints of green around on both sides right here after that come by to the you know the crotch area and gun metal gray and paint the paint the spring and red that you can see right here I forgot to paint mine in gun metal gray but I said you do it in yours as you're done finishing that go by to the arms the arms is the same method so listen it up the camera I forgot to mention the camera stopped at the 20 minute limit part so the first thing to do with the arms you do the same thing on the other side first to paint the inside right here and mount for screen and wait to leave it dry off as you that part is finished you come by to the back of the arms of robuster you paint the upper part of the arms right here the arms is in a mushroom have a mushroom peg if you can I don't know you can see it that you can see right here you can remove the arm you can remove the body right the part of the remove this whole area right here you can paint this part right here and this side right here that you can see I don't know you can clearly see it right here and black so do that after finishing drying up come by to the spring right there on the part of the forearms that you can see right there paint in silver first after done paint the, the rest of it in red after that's finished uh, next is come by to the the bottom part of the arms first thing to do is paint the whole area of the green part and mountain forest green that you can see right there paint that paint also don't forget to paint the back of it also after that's finished you come get some gunmetal gray right here to paint that part that you can see after that's finished paint a little bit of red two reds right here after that's finished you paint some little bit of blue here and here and now next after done drying up all the part of it grab some white and paint this white part right here and now for the lines of the you know the curves of the lines right there that you can see forgot to mention it's gonna be different like in the lake so forgot to tell you that the, you could paint the lines right here and after that finishing drying off you paint the little his knuckles right here and bronze as it that's finishing drying off let me put the head back on have it upside down by accident sorry about that 
as you're finishing drawing off, you do the same method on the other side, but instead of, you know, the right side does have the white line, so don't do paint, do not paint in that. And there you go, you're finishing it. Now for the legs, is different, so I'm going to tell you why. Now for the left leg right here that you can see, for the upper part right here, first thing to do is paint the white right here in this area. Next is paint the copper right here, or bronze right here, and you do the same, you know, the bronze color on the other side of the legs, but the upper part. Next, paint the whole area right here and green first. Then you make a line of the white like that. And for this one, just paint it a whole green. And for this part right here, just paint it a white, same thing on the other side, and a little ball thing right here. Next is come by to the side of the shin of the vehicle mode of the robot figure. Paint it like that, and you do the same thing on the other side. Next, come by to the legs. For the legs, you paint this whole area right here in silver that you can see. The back part of the legs. Silver right here, silver right here also. And paint the spring in red. I forgot to paint mine on this side, so do make sure to do that that side so you won't forget it like I did by accident. So I apologize for that. After that part is finished, you come by to the get some blue over here in the little on on this part right here to paint some blue on it. Same thing on the other side. Next thing to do is bend it, then bend the figure's knees and paint the bronze color right here and here so you can see. Paint the whole white area right here on the shins, like you can see right here, like I have. And make sure to paint this part right here in green, the little piece right here that you can see. Next thing to do is come by, is to paint this, this area right here in gold, and you do the same thing on the other side. Now for the rest of the, you know, the part of the legs, first thing to do, get some Mountain Forest Green, to paint up the green area right here on the knees, down here, and this part right here that you can see. Paint that first. As you're done, grab some white and you paint that also right here that you can see. Like I did have here. And you paint the white area also right here that you can also look in at it. Like I did there. As you're done finishing drying off, you get some gunmetal gray, you cover up the green part right here and this part right here. You do the same thing on the other side also. As you're done finishing drying off, grab some bronze, do it right here, paint it right here. And you can see these red springs right here. You do that also and this side as well. Do the same thing on the other side. As it's done finish, as it's done finish, paint the bronze part right here. Well, mine is kind of scraped off by, I don't know why. And paint the other side also right here. And for the feet, paint it in silver right there that, you can, that you, you can see also. So you do the same method. On the other side, after done with that, if you have like, you know, repo labels on it or water decals to put it in all the sponsorship on the figure, which I don't have one. I rather have, you know, repo label stickers on it instead of water decals. And trust me, I will not grab any water decals because I don't like it. As you've done finishing up, you put the figure back together and wait to leave to dry off. And that pretty much that's it. Now let's pause the video, give him the final posing and, and give it the congratulation part. Of the figure so yes so I'll be right back congratulations now you already finished how to custom how you already finished painting up your Transformers Studio Series Robuster figure now now like I said if you guys want to see the original review right what I did make sure you go to the information symbol on the top right to check it out up here and if you guys want to see the last video I did a uh, video I did uh, how to custom paint it's also it's gonna be in the information symbol on the top right out top right also and same thing on the full playlist on on the on how to custom paint. So yes, but at the end of the outro, you only can see two videos, which is the original review of of uh, Robuster and the last how to custom paint figure. So that pretty much that's it. It's gonna bring that more right here and make sure to not make him fall. So yeah. So like I said, what do you guys think? So what do you guys think on the custom that I did? Does it look good? Does it need something more? Leave that in the comments down below. Anyways, you guys, you guys already know the rules. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.